Hi everybody, welcome back. And I was just been doing a lot of thinking lately and uh, I haven't done a political, I try this kind of slippery slope of subject I try to avoid. I will talk on it, I'm not going into do too much detail about my views, just kind of going over the facts. And um, I was doing a lot of thinking about lately and it's going to be interesting to see how this campaign winds down, how the election turns out. As we all know, Joe Biden has stepped out of the He's stepping down as president out of the presidential race. He's not seeking re-election at this point. That's probably a good thing because it's obvious he's pretty gone. And um, it's not for sure yet, but it looks like Kamala Harris is going to be the nominee. It's still not for sure. There's still some <coughs> excuse me, names that are being thrown around. But it sounds like she's more than likely going to be the one. It sounds like it's going to be her and Trump. And uh, there's a lot of talk about if she becomes the nominee, which she probably will be, who she's going to pick as her vice president. There was like 10 names I heard in the mix, um, familiar faces from before. Um, so yeah, I, mean, I think uh, Senator Mark, because I'm from Arizona, Senator Mark Kelly was one of them, and Josh Shapiro, uh, was it Amy Klobuchar, Gretchen Whitmer, um, who was the other one? Oh yeah, Peter Buttigieg. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. And uh, yeah, Trump has picked that J.D. Vance, the senator from Ohio, as his running mate. You know, politics is really kind of strange. I don't get it in a way. Because like, I know back in 2020, um, Kamala Harris he had called, she had said that Joe Biden was a racist. And then she ended up you know, getting picked by him. And then all of a sudden they're buddy, buddy. And you know, this J.D. Vance, I guess he, was it back in, even though he's a Republican, I think it's back in 2016, he had compared Trump to Hitler, and then Trump picks him, and now all of a sudden they're buddy buddies. It's a lot of really sketchy stuff that goes on. And, um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about that. You know, interesting to see um, what comes of everything. There's still a few months left to go. It's almost August. And um, if, you know, I'm not taking sides here, but you have Trump word to get, I know it didn't happen, like with Whoopi Goldberg. I know when Trump first got elected back in 2016, there were celebrities like Whoopi Goldberg and a few others said if he got elected that they were going to leave. And um, I guess now Robert De Niro, he, he's been very outspoken against Trump for years. And Robert De Niro, I don't know, from Canada, I imagine, but... I don't know if he's just bluffing, just looking for attention, but yeah, he was saying if Trump gets reelected, that he's more than likely going to leave because he said there's just not going to be any respect here. And it is kind of funny. Uh, I like Robert De Niro, but it's just a way, it's like a, show, a comedy show. The uh, I mean, Trump is entertaining, but just uh, Robert De Niro and Trump going back and forth, battering at each other, it's uh, battering back and forth. It's really entertaining to see. I've never known, I've known a lot of people that have had extreme hatred for other people, but just not at this extreme. Um, Robert De Niro just has extreme hatred for Trump. Like at one point, he called, he's called him a clown, called him stupid, called him a pig. And then recently, I guess he said, like, oh, he's not a pig. Like, pigs they have more dignity, they have more honor. You know, you know, Trump doesn't have any of that. And I thought the funniest it was a few years ago, but he was saying that somebody, you know, he had like open fantasies about seeing shit on Trump's face, but he was saying like, oh, somebody should take a pile of shit and just throw it up against Trump's face. He said, I just want to see shit on his face and want to see him humiliated. He said something about like taking a picture of it and making it viral all over the world. So that was pretty entertaining. And um, yeah, he's still been pretty outspoken again against Trump for the city of New York, he's just convinced that Trump is going to ruin everything, ruin the country, ruin the city, you know, screw everything up, and it's just getting that point with Robert De Niro, and he's been in show business for so long, and he knows he can't be swearing on national television, but he's, you know, been bleeped out a number of, numerous times, and then, uh, I haven't heard much from Samuel L. Jackson lately, I know he was out, he was pretty outspoken against Trump too, he was pretty funny, he said like, oh, he was talking about his fans, they're no longer fans of his because of him being against Trump. And he said something like, oh, yeah, I'm never watching another Samuel L. Jackson movie. I'm never, I'm going to burn all my Samuel L. Jackson movies. He's like, oh, yeah, go right ahead and see if I give a fuck, you know. So, yeah, it's definitely entertaining. Um, can't wait to see the outcome of all this. So, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say for now. So comment, like, share, subscribe. And we'll talk again real soon. Have a great rest of your week, everybody. I'm out.